But right now, the one big thing that I'm interested in this summer is working with uh, refugee women to learn English, to practice English with them. What I'm going to talk about today is a new project that I just kind of am getting involved in now, and I'm absolutely loving it. And I'm looking for ways to um, incorporate my arts more and more. I uh, haven't quite figured it all out yet. You guys have seen a lot of what I've done in the past. I've done a lot of different volunteer work with art and people, and those are kind of my two passions. And uh, right now, I'm starting something new that I'm just getting into. And she How are you guys? As you know, I'm doing the SSS VEDA this year. It's VEDA, but it's for Savvy Sexy Social. I got it right this time on like my intro video. But uh, I wanted to answer the question for day nine, and that is how do you give back or volunteer? Many of you guys know that I am an artist and I do a lot of volunteer work. So I'm going to talk about a couple of the different volunteer things that I'm currently doing. Also, maybe something I've done in the past as well. We'll see how much time I have for that. In the past, I've done a lot of different things, um, from AmeriCorps to uh, volunteering with at-risk kids at treatment facilities, um, working with adults with disabilities. There's a whole store that I used to go into to look for Indian spices, and I practiced English in there with people for, uh, yeah, six to eight months probably, and then we just started hanging out, biting them over for dinner, and just became friends. I got an email from my pastor who got an email from someone who got an email from someone who got an email from someone, and it was asking, it was looking for women in the community who are interested in a program called World Relief, which works primarily with refugees from all over the world, and there are tons of women in our community that don't speak a lot of English and are just like lonely and looking for friends. And so this email is about that, and they're like, we're looking for people willing to do this. And so I was like, yeah, absolutely, that sounds amazing. So I responded to this email, and I have started uh, hanging out with a couple women I've been practicing English with and just spending time with, and so that's been a lot of fun. I'm also talking about practicing, um, doing an English class over the summer with a friend of mine who, um, she is an English teacher. We're talking about co-teaching a class, and I, I have taught English. Uh, I've taught more foreign languages at very basic levels, and so I'm super excited to teach English as well, and I taught English in Brazil too, so that's um, something that I really care about, and so that's one thing is um, helping these women in this community that don't have much English um, and are refugees and just don't have a lot of um, American friends. And I'm also looking for ways to bring arts into that. I'm not sure what that'll look like, but I've um, started asking around for who to get uh, grants from and such things, so we'll see if my idea happens or not. But um, either way, I'll still get to hang out and be friends and um, practice English with these women. So yeah, yeah. So that's one big thing, and I think my artwork too is another thing that I love teaching and sharing my art with people. But in the future, again, I would love to do more with art and helping people through the arts. I don't know what that'll look like at all right now, but I am stoked to do more of it. Um. Uh, Thanks guys, I hope you enjoyed this. If you do and if you like my, um, I have some art in the background that I'm working on. If you like the art or if you're interested in using art to work with people or travel and culture and art and language and like all those things, my art, my regular videos and art kind of combine uh, culture and travel and sometimes languages and such things. So be sure to, be sure to subscribe and uh, check out my future videos and I'll see you guys soon.